So, time for another update. It is Tuesday afternoon, uh, 6.30, getting towards Tuesday evening. Uh, wind is nice now, it's picked up, it's about 12 knots. I'm still not pointing towards the mark, I've still got to do a couple of jibes to get down there. But uh, at least I'm moving fast, around 6 knots. Uh, if this holds, and I'm sure it won't hold exactly like this, something's going to change. But if it holds, uh, I'll be rounding uh, the Rochebon Plateau tomorrow, early afternoon, Ile de Ré, Wednesday night, midnight, and then start heading north. Uh, I have to say, I've just realized in the last couple of hours, uh, I have not felt as alone uh, as I do right now. I have not seen another boat, I haven't seen another ship, I haven't seen anything on the horizon for at least a couple of hours, two or three hours. Uh, I'm well offshore, I'm sure I could get some uh, VHF, I could receive some VHF from the powerful Coast Guard stations, but uh, as I say, I haven't felt this alone um, the whole trip. And I think part of the reason is because, I'll just show you the GPS. Oh, let's see. There. You can see that waypoint called FIR, F-I-R. I put that in earlier today. We're gonna, I'm going to pass within, or I just passed within at a guess, a couple of hundred meters of that waypoint. Uh, that waypoint is the center of a, a firing, a Navy firing zone. Uh, and they were conducting exercises in it earlier today, which meant I had to go in towards shore to avoid it. But a couple of hours ago, three hours ago, they gave the all clear. They said they're finished. Uh, so I'm cutting right across the center. But it makes me wonder whether there are other ships out there that uh, would have been here if, if it weren't for that. Anyway, um, the next uh, 18, 20 hours uh, could be very, uh, very um, alone. Not necessarily lonely, but very alone. Uh, with no, not many other ships around, um, which would make it great for sleeping tonight. It means I can sleep. Uh, and then once I head in towards the coast again, uh, I'm sure I'll see ships again. But uh, tonight could be a very alone night. Hopefully not a lonely night. Uh, one more video diary for today. I've done a lot today. It's uh, still Tuesday the 29th. Um, maybe it's because I'm really looking forward to getting to the finish. I don't know. Uh, I think in my last video diary I said, if nothing changes, but it certainly will. Well, it has. Uh, the wind has picked up, uh, shifted direction a little bit. Uh, you can see on the instruments, it's now 13, 14 knots of wind, and we've got about 6.9, almost 7 knots of boat speed. And you can see this. We're now pointing only 8 degrees away from the mark. The bearing to the mark is 141, and uh, our track is 133. So, things have changed. Uh, now, instead of arriving at uh, Rasubon uh, tomorrow uh, lunchtime or mid-afternoon, late afternoon, it's now projecting that we'll arrive um, early in the morning, well, early uh, 8, 9 in the morning, uh, which would be excellent, uh, not only because it gets me home faster, but also because um, I then have 50 miles to uh, Ile de Ré, and if I round Rushabon in the morning, it means I'll round Ile de Ray. Uh oh. That was almost a jibe. Um, it means I would round Ile de Ray at, uh, during daylight hours, which is great. Alright, that's it for tonight. I'm going to brush my teeth, get ready uh, for the night, put on some uh, warm clothes, and uh, yeah, hopefully get some sleep. The boat seems to be handling the condition as well. Um, if it stays like this, it's absolutely perfect. I don't want the wind to pick up anymore because I'm comfortable at this uh, at this speed. Um, 
don't want it to drop either but if it just stays like this i think it'll be perfect it'll be a great night well i hope you can see those numbers um, a lot changed during the night uh, wind, well, not a lot changed, a bit changed. Wind built up to 18 knots. Uh, I had to jibe a couple of times, which is the first time I think I've jibed alone in, in 18 knots of wind. Uh, so that was, that was okay, unfortunately. Um, I then got a wind shift, which meant I couldn't point towards the mark. But the wind is shifting back, and now I think I'm able to make it, so things are looking good. Still looking like I'll arrive uh, at uh, Rushabon at about 10 in the morning, and uh, that'll give me, uh, I guess, another um, then seven hours to get uh, to Ile de Rey. So that'll be in good daylight, and then head north. So things are looking good. I still don't think I'll be back in um, uh, in Lorient by Friday morning which is a bit disappointing because uh, I really wanted to do that. But uh, uh, it feels good to, for the boat to be moving. It feels really good.